Okay, so what even is a design system, right? A design system is something that you can use to make your life easier. Basically, you have all of your titles, your headings, your colors, your layouts, your dark mode, light mode, everything already laid out and planned out. Then when you go to design something, your job is pretty much 99% done because you have all the systems laid out and all the text and the headings and the toggles, everything's laid out, right? So here are some of the best design systems on Figma that you can download yourself and duplicate to use on your own. These UI kits have been made by professionals, some for a official kits or maybe not like this headspace one that I'm about to show you but stick around to the end to find the very best UI kit that I've used a lot on a lot of projects let's get into it so the first UI kit we're gonna take a look at is this headspace UI kit now I'm not sure if this is even the official UI kit from headspace and if this is the one that they use on all their apps and things but I don't really know if it matters because it pretty much looks like the real thing let's check out some of the components and some of the systems that they use in this UI kit or this design system now here you'll see one of the foundation elements right this these are the building blocks of the design system. This is pretty much what I mean when I say you should have a really good design system. This is exactly what I mean. You have all of your foundation colors laid out, when you're gonna be using them as a primary, as a secondary, when you're gonna be using the text colors, what text colors are they gonna be? Is it gonna be this font? Is it gonna be this size? Is it gonna be these headings, that heading, right? Whatever it is, you need to have everything laid out. Let's check out how they use this exact design system for the Headspace app. Let's go over to components and I'll show you guys what I mean right here. So if you're familiar with Figma, you know that you have this thing called variants, right? You can change the button size and the color and the shape and if it has a little icon inside or not or the color, whatever it is, you can just change that with a click of a button. So you've got these groups of buttons over here and if you double click on them, then you can see exactly what I mean. You've got all these different states for buttons with icons, without icons, and you can easily change that through these variants. And if you use this design system for your own project, then you already have all of this built out and you already have all these states functioning and the error state and do you want it to be a primary a secondary button all that thing you don't really have to design that anymore because it's already all laid out for you right here also let's not forget that this person built out secondary for dark mode and for light mode buttons so everything you need is always here you've also got the tabs on the bottom of the app so when you want to click on the different pages this is what you will see and whether it's activated or not and whether it's dark mode or not now here you can see a lot of the other components that this person has built out and just the vast variants that you have in this design system but let's check out some of the demo kits that this person actually built out for us using this design system right here so here we see a couple of screens now this isn't the entire app or anything like it but it's a couple of screens to show you how much you can really do with this design system that is just free for you to use if you got this walkthrough screen here where you have kind of the hero text and the headline text and this button which again you can then change using different variants and different selection of colors so if I want it to be this blue for example I can do just that if I want it to be a different color I can change that. I don't know why you would use this color right here, but hey, it's there, right? Let's just use it. So here we can see all the different variants with the buttons. If we want it to be a tertiary button, then we can do that. If we want it to be a disabled state, we can do that. If we want it to be a smaller button, then there it is, right? All of this can be easily achieved through the power of variants. Now here we've got the dark mode, and this is gonna be a recurring theme. A lot of these design systems or kits have dark mode and light mode themes because that's kind of the new trend and people really love dark mode these days, right? So the next screen is the home screen, and this kind of shows you what you can do with this tab over here or, or with this card, right? And again, we've got dark mode on everything. We've got graphs even. And that just kind of shows you the power of this design system right here. I'll leave all the links that I talk about in the description so you guys can check out all the design systems that I'm going to talk about so you can use them for your own projects. Next up, let's check out cutframe.in. Now, cutframe is one of the biggest UI frame kits that I've ever seen. It has at least 250 components, 200 screens, and 170 icons. Now, the really cool thing about this design design system over here is that you can pretty much use it for any app that you want to build. Instead of going out and designing every single screen as a beta test or as a pitch deck, something like that, you can just use this exact wireframe kit. Now, let me show you what I mean. If we go over here to light mode screens and we just take a look at the vast amount of screens that this person has built out for you to use. Now, if we zoom in here, we can see all the actual screens, this index over here, and we can see just what this person has done. This design system also uses variants so you can change this logo, for example, to be dark or or light or do you want it to be the word or the logo and whatever it is you can change all of this going into the asset mode and kind of playing around with the individual components there now check this out you can imagine how easy it would be to build out an app that looks really good and just ready to go out into the, into the real design world if you just give your designer or your engineer all of these screens and you already have everything built out right you've got social media pages that you can play around with so this looks like adding friends or searching for individual 
individual parts, maybe it's a marketplace app, maybe it's a social media app, anything like that. You have all of these screens that you can use to kind of start getting an idea of what your application is gonna look like or what your client project will look like, right? If you're building this for someone else. You got map screens, you got photo galleries, and there's just so much more stuff here, guys. You've got music and podcast screens. So you can kind of get the idea, right? If you're gonna build out a podcast app, I know podcasts are super popular right now. For example, I have one. Check out my episode with Jamie Brindle. We talk a lot about freelancing topics on there. We've also got video screens. We've got subscription pages. So if your client wants to have a subscription page, you have that there, right? Now you've got all these individual screens that you can use. You've also got dashboards. So if you want it to be more of a subscription pro membership or anything like that, you've got all these individual metrics that you can use. And the beauty of this is that it also has every single screen that I just showed you, except also in dark mode. So you have all the individual screens, all the assets, all the variants, everything as a dark mode variant. You can pretty much just change it to be anything you really want when you go into the real components and you kind of want to change everything. You can definitely do that. This is yours to kind of mold around your project, right? Let's check out Hope UI. Now, although Hope UI is a smaller UI kit than the one that I just showed, it's insanely powerful if you want to go out and build a dashboard for your application or for your project, your app, whatever it is, right? If you want to build a web dashboard, this is insanely powerful for you. Now, again, we've got all the UI kit over here. So you know that you can have all the variants you want. You can just individually change every single one of these and it'll change over on the entire project. And that's kind of the beauty of the variants and components in Figma. So we go over here to dashboard and we can get started. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, then make sure that you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos just like this one. And I actually know that you guys really prefer this kind of video. So like the other apps that I just showed, we've also got dark mode and also light mode. So keep that in mind. There's, there's both modes here. So let's check out the light mode because it's just a little bit easier to see for me. So within this dashboard, we've got a side menu bar. We've got individual graphs. We've got different bar graphs and different completion graphs, activity overviews. You've got glass blur, blur effects. Like there's just so much going on here. There's even got spatial pages. So if you want to do a billing page, if you want a calendar, if you want a Kanban board, if you want a pricing board, you've also got that. You've also got RTL support. You've got timelines as well if you want to build out a timeline. And then obviously you've got all of your login, sign up, email, lock screen, things like that, right? And that's pretty much it within this UI kit. Although it's smaller, again, it's really powerful if you want to build a dashboard, not really an application or something like that. The last design system I want to show you guys, and it's super, super powerful, and I've really recommended this to a lot of my buddies that do design, is this event booking app UI kit or design kit, whatever you want to call it. So let's check out some of the demo screens. But before we do that, let's check out this design system here that they've got going on just to drive home how important it is to really have all of your headings laid out, all of your colors, your buttons, everything just completely really laid out. These are all the navigational bars, the searches, the buttons. Again, all of this is going to be variants. So it's super easy to, to change and to use. We've also got the dark mode, of course. We've got all the typography. So all the H1s, H2s, H5s, everything is completely laid out. So it's very, very easy to use. Okay, so this is a fully built out UI app for a booking app. So if you're going to book an event or a, you can change it to be a hotel app or an Airbnb app, something along the lines of that. This is pretty much the framework that you need to kind of start designing and start imagining what your app or what your client's app could really look like. So you've got all these individual screens that are already built out. You've got the sign in, sign up, the verification pages. You've got empty pages, search pages, event details. The list just goes on, right? You've got an entire app here just at your fingertips ready for you to use on your own project. If you guys enjoyed this video, then you should definitely check out this one right here because I'm sure it's really, really great as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.